Hey, Blackborn Social Club, God bless America. I'm back in the barn this morning after uh, <clears throat> after uh, uh, being on vacation for the last week. And I'll, I'll figure out a way to talk more about that just because it was, it was such, it was such a good uh, time away. It was such a good reset. But um, something happened yesterday, and I wanted to talk about it. And that was it was it was kind of a, a impactful at a kind of moment about it. We we get back in town yesterday, and we had we had left my my not that this matters, but we had my son and daughter stayed behind, and um, you know took care of the animals and and whatnot and got back and the yard had grown up and so it was time to mow and my son goes out and he gets to you know we've got several areas you guys have seen from the you know if you've watched any of the videos we've got like a, a courtyard area that's inside the sidewalk that has to be push mowed and um, and my son normally takes care of the weed eating and the push mowing and then I'll take care of the, the big yard the big mowing and uh, my son goes and gets the lawnmower and he starts mowing the courtyard and runs out of gas. And he pushes it back there towards, you know, towards me and he says, hey, you know, gas is, the uh, mower's out of gas. And, um, and I tell him to go. I said, well, gas can's back there, go fill it up. And so he goes back there, he fills it up and I'm kind of watching him and uh, he, uh, He's 15, so he goes back there and he fills it up, and then he comes back and he starts, you know, he starts the mower, and I don't know, I hear it run for about two seconds, and then I hear just quiet, and uh, a couple of minutes later, my wife comes around, and uh, and I'm I'm in the backyard, my wife comes around to me and she says, you know, she's kind of talking quiet under her breath, and she says, hey. Um, he's kind of nervous to tell you this, but he, he put gas where the oil goes. And, and I, for a moment, I mean, I, like, I, I didn't really, there's two things that this will teach you. Okay. One is that's not that big of a deal in a push mower. You can, you can drain it and, um, it's just not that big of a deal. But he was terrified. He was terrified to come tell, you know, daddy that he had messed up the mower. And in the moment that didn't hit me, but uh, you know, I, I got up and we, we talked to him, you know, he, he kinda, he came about 15, 20 steps behind mom and he says, I, I think I put gas in the wrong place. And I, I said, okay. I said, well, let's push it over here. and. We pushed it, you know, f you know, further out uh, to the burn pile, and I said, "Let's take the, you know, take the top off, and let's let's turn it over and let it drain." And, and uh, of course, all this gas comes, you know, spilling out, and um, and he's just watching. I think he's kind of halfway watching the mower, halfway watching me. And uh, I said, "You know, where's the?" I said, "Show me the lid to the oil. It's got the." You know, and it doesn't. Now, here's something you could learn if you're uh, if you're a design. Not every 15 year old knows that the little oil can symbol means oil. I mean, you you could go ahead and just put the three letters on there and solve and re remove all doubt. But uh, but I told him I said that symbol means oil, and uh, and I just smiled at him. So we uh, we got all of it drained out, and we're you know obviously there was no gas in it to drain out, so. We waited uh, a little while, and I'm gonna later on today. I'm gonna put oil back in it. We'll figure that, uh, you know, figure the rest of it out. But I got to thinking this morning, and it broke my heart a little bit. Why my son or my kids would would have the impression of me to be afraid to tell me they made a mistake. And uh, that's the most important part of this video. I hate that I've waited five minutes or it's taken me five minutes to get here. That's the most important part. 
as a dad, as a father, I don't ever want my kids to be afraid to tell me they've made a mistake. I mean, that's, that's what I'm here for. And shame on me for, for not um, teaching him better, you know, which one the gas cap is or which one, I mean, you know, he's done it before. This was just a mistake. And, um, but shame on me for, for, for whatever reason, for giving them the feeling that they'd be afraid. And, um, and so th- today, I mean, I, that's what, that's what weighs heavy on me. It's like, I, you know, are we as parents, are we putting forth the wrong impression? Like, like that you have to be perfect, that you, that you can't make mistakes or, you know, because if they, if they knew me, if they knew half the mistakes that I have made, half the things that I have broken um, of my, you know, half the tools of my uncles that I have broken. I turned a backhoe over one time because uh, me and my cousin were doing something wrong. And uh, now in that case, we told him uh, quite a cussing. Uh, it was probably, it was merited. We, t- we told him quite a cussing. And, um, and my dad growing up, my dad would have, you know, would have hit the proverbial roof. But uh, what can I do better for my kids? And the biggest thing I can say is that I would figure out a way to cultivate that sense of safety that they can come to you with anything. You know, hey, Dad, worst case scenario, you ruined a push mower. It's okay. But now we, you know, now we've learned. So uh, I don't know. I think there's, there's... for me, the thought that my son was afraid of me is more damaging than any push mower. You know, I, I wouldn't want that for my kids. So I just thought I'd tell you guys that story. Um, I don't know. That's it. Black Barn Social Club. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk soon. Be blessed.